Ah, somebody asked about Sudan. Okay, in Sudan, what is the main reason for the conflict? Is it religious, political, tribal? Okay, what conflict? There's two kinds of conflict in Sudan. One of them, southern versus northern Sudanese. That conflict now is ending, and there's a peace treaty. It was always been, had been political, because in the south there was Muslims and Christians as well. And that since the, before the British left Sudan. The issue now take place in Darfur is tribal. There's a two tribe, and by the way, the, uh, the, the word Arabs versus black African is a myth. I want to refer you to two reports done by African Americans who went to Sudan and go and check Sudan.net. Um, recently, a delegation from African Americans who went to Sudan and came back and said, we do not find these Arabs against black, but there's two tribes fighting one another, really, and there's a tragedy in Sudan because of that fight. But the word Arabs been misused, both of them are black. The word Arab in Sudan been used, and forgive me if you are an Arab sitting here, mean Bedouins, people have no homes, no mats. We call them Arabs. Arab, like Arab. And therefore the media use the word Arabs to indicate this Arab again as black. This is not, this is not true. All of those people are, are Muslims. That Darfur region is considered the Quranic region. More people memorize Quran in that region than any place in Sudan. That place used to be an, an, an independent, long time ago, Islamic kingdom. The, 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 the person who used to rule that uh, part of Sudan before colonism, before British, is called Ali Dinar. And Ali Dinar, who those who want, how many of you want to pilgrimage, want to Hajj? Okay, when you go to Medina, and there's something called Abar Ali. Abar Ali, those are the wells that dig by the money of Ali Dinar from Sudan. That's how they used to, uh, to rule that region. Unfortunately, there are farmers, and some of them are shepherds. The farmers, uh, the shepherds come always uh, when the drought, uh, there's a drought, they come to the farmer's area, and the fight always takes place over the land, but it used to be resolved with the head of tribe sitting together and resolve the issue, but this time it became very political. Something very stunning, very interesting. War of the South and the North, they said claimed one million people, life. Been going there for 50 years, never made it to United Nations. There's no United Nations resolution about the war of, of the South and North. Therefore, issue. The United Nations representative from Khartoum said, it's not 50,000 died, although I said life matters. If one person, is too many for me. They say about 5,000 people died. I think somebody just made a mistake, put a zero there, no problem. But uh, what happened in, in this issue here, is that things went escalated, and the people call it genocide. There's a fight. Many people have been displaced. People lost their homes and they need of help. But at the same time, I want to say there's some kind of uh, exaggeration of some of the problem. But there's a lot of people are suffering. And if you can do anything in your town to help the humanitarian relief, I know that Islamic Relief is doing something about it, please do so. It will eliminate the suffering and help the suffering of the people of Sudan.